to the channel glad to have you here in today's video i have four profitable amazon kdp keywords that are low competition high demand and i'm using a total of four chrome extensions to help you to um, analyze the profitability of each of the keywords that we discuss in today's video now if you have not yet subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe click on the bell icon in order to be notified on all our new videos that we do here on the channel at 5 p.m every single day finish time now let's get started with the first keyword for the day and i'm using a total of four free chrome extensions and i did a video a couple of weeks ago outlining the chrome extensions that i'm using they're all free they're all effective and they're all uh, recently updated as well so you can go ahead and check out the link to that video will be in the comment section and in the description box below this video and it'll give you an overview on how to use the four chrome extensions correctly now first of all our first keyword for today's video is auto service repair invoice auto service Re repair invoice has a keyword new score of 43 and a, a keyword new score of number seven so number nine is the highest this keyword new score is by amazon scout pro free chrome extension which gives us a, a number seven number nine is the highest number seven i'm quite happy with self-publishing titans has given us a keyword new score of 43 and a total results of 210 we do have the average bestseller rank being 191,448 average reviews are 370 and average price there seems to be some sort of error right here it is 0.71 cents we will not take that into account this is a really good keyword uh, that allows us to make a, a book that is more of an invoice type so it's like do with budgeting logging the uh, like or you know uh, giving invoices out to uh, people or to customers and it is used by a person or a, a team working in the auto repair, uh, auto service repair industry. So keep that in mind. These kind of people, they like things to be direct, clear, minimalistic. Keep the cover minimalistic. Keep it clear. Keep it bold colors, bold fonts as well. They don't like anything fancy or anything like that. So this is key as well. One uh, technique that is also used uh, that results in quite a lot of sales is books uh, that are bold direct minimalistic as we said but most importantly they have a copy of the interior page on the book so the person can go ahead quickly look at the cover check everything's okay and through the cover they get to have a sneak peek of the interior as well and now this is really important not only for having them to quickly you know purchase and add to cart uh, when seeing the interior on the cover itself but also important when they come to when they receive their book and they come to organize their book it's really important for them to uh, easily organize it for example quickly pick it up they can see the interior on the cover they know what it is no need to kind of hassle and uh, fizzle and there we go just pick up the book fill it in um, and then put it back quickly and they'll be easily able to kind of um, have that visual uh, element of the interior cover right there for further use as well so do keep that in mind if it is possible for you to create a book and just have a, a the interior placed on the cover in a nice way i know some people just copy and paste the actual copy of the, one of the interiors onto the cover it does sell that way but it's not it does not look quite professional one thing that i like is this one for example they have made this beautiful this is independently published which is great to see also recently published in 2023 um in june the third so it has not yet been able to kind of um you know get sales and stuff as far as i know but i just love the cover really clear very professional the and it looks like more of an envelope like a 3d effect of an of a large envelope with the actual uh, paper placed inside and it says auto repair invoice they did quite a they have made an effort creating the the cover for this book and they also did the branding as well right there uh, another one that also sells quite well is something like this now although this is not specifically for the um the auto repair yet it is con uh, considered as an invoice book so it's purchase order so they have not used the uh keyword auto service repair invoice in either their title or their subtitle but they have included it in part of the seven keyword slots and this is why it is ranking here as well 
so something like that also works quite well uh, where we have the actual interior and then writing he right here quick easy simple direct and clear so let's head over to the second keyword for today's video and it is repair invoice book for small businesses now if you are creating a book on the previous keyword you can also use this keyword as part of your either a uh, subtitle as part of your seven keyword slots to also get your book ranking for both of these keywords as well because they are connected so here same issue you are doing a invoice book for a repair business it could be any sort of repair business it doesn't need to be auto and it could be like a mobile repair a um, computer repair um, so much other types of business businesses like, like in the repairing in the industry fixing as well for small businesses so it be, would be a simple invoice book a book where they'll be able to easily make that invoice written invoice and then just hand it over take it out hand it over as well um, that way now it has a keyword news score of 30 all the other indicators on by self publishing titans indicate that it, it is a quite profitable keyword as well first of all total results are under 1000 average bestseller rank is under 300,000 which is ideal and also uh, we do have a, a confirmation by amazon scout pro chrome extension which gives us a keyword score of number nine the highest that you can get green light right here categorizing this keyword as a great niche so total results 437 average bestseller rank 135,761 average reviews are 685 now this keyword allows us more space more freedom more flexibility to kind of niche down or to just create a simple uh, general invoice book for repair businesses the other one was just for auto repair so it's really important to keep that in mind when you consider for example the cover you you might need to have like a, a logo or a logo style or a element of a, a car or or vehicles or anything like that no matter how simple it is just just have it there for graphic purposes as well the second or should i say the third keyword for today's video is vehicle maintenance log and this is about maintaining your vehicle and it could be a car it could be a truck it could be a taxi but maintaining it you need to have a log book and a lot of people would like something that they can hold in the hand some people like to do it electronically but usually people like something that they can easily access on hand something that they can put in the car something that's preferably travel size as well um you know maybe a six point uh, six by nine inches would be amazing for that um so a keyword niche score is 30 total results are 1232 and the best seller rank is 536,504 average price is 229 average sorry average price is five dollars and fifty my apologies it is a very hot day today and the reviews average reviews are 229 now we do have a clarification by amazon scout pro chrome extension which I do like their niche strength score. They've given us, given us a number six, categorizing it as a nice niche, which beautifully fits all this data that we have, all this juicy stuff that we have by self-publishing Titans uh, Chrome extension. So as I said, make it simple. Same rules apply for the past two keywords. Make it simple, make it direct. As you can see here bold clear uh, you know there's books that have the interior uh, on the cover itself there's books with just that text as well as you can see they're selling quite good as well uh, and it, you know the most important thing about this is apart from the cover being very clear and bold and minimalistic is the uh, travel size make it travel size as much as possible because these kind of log books are preferably placed inside the car or inside anything you know that's like a a bag or something so you know six by nine by nine is is a really good size for these kind of books the fourth and final keyword for the day nothing to do with vehicles but it's more of a coloring book based and it has a the keyword says is monster truck coloring book now monster truck coloring book is a nice keyword all the data support that and we have a keyword you score a strong one by self publishing titans of 48 total results are below 1000 being 896 and the average bestseller rank is 430,404 now we have an average reviews of 754 average price is seven dollars and nine cents and for this sake all the data being all you know positive and nice and strong 
I'm going to ignore the number four given by Amazon Scout Pro because these all fit into the box of being profitable. Monster Struck Coloring Book, great keyword. It's really rare nowadays to come across a keyword to do with a coloring book for children, for example that has these data that being total results under 1000 having a bestseller rank around that 400,000 mark uh and you know it's it's really quite rare, rare so i'm really happy to come across this keyword today and to share it with you now the cover is also important there is flexibility with this keyword because they have not indicated whether it is for of course generally you know, it would be for children, um, but they've not indi indicated if it is for uh, adults, children, teenagers, preteens, girls, boys, um, the age groups as well, um, all that kind of stuff. So do keep that in mind. Now, just as a precaution, uh, please make sure before you embark on any sort of uh, keywords that we talk about here on the channel or any keywords that you find elsewhere, such as Creative Fabrica, make sure before creating a book on that, just head over to the site to check for trademarked. I have included a link in the description box below this video where I show you step by step on how to check the title that you want to use or the keyword that you want to use whether it is trademarked or not really really important to take this step i could be sitting here i could tell you this is not trademark for example for example i'm, I'm not sure or this is not as trademarked uh, for example but it might be trademarked in a month from now or in a week from now or in a year from now and these videos are available for you to watch at any time so they're not the most updated i do try my best to keep everything up to date i do try my best to check the keywords for trademark that i use here on the channel every now and then and then you know let you all know in the community section uh, of this uh, of this channel um but then again that also falls on personal responsibility as well so thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed today's video subscribe to the channel i'd love to have you on board take care and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye